Now the president is focused on energy, where he is a huge fan of cap and trade legislation. During his presidential campaign, Obama said, under my plan of a cap and trade system, electricity rates would necessarily skyrocket. Businesses would have to retrofit their operations. That will cost money. They will just have to pass the cost on to their customers. That's what he said. This is not just a campaign promise. Obama is leading the war against fossil fuels. Higher energy prices will hurt the middle class. I don't like that my energy bill every month. I don't know about you. It will hurt the middle class. The more money spent on gasoline and utility bills, there will be less money for you to spend on other desires and necessities for you and your family. Under Obama's energy plan, a majority of Americans will suffer from a reduced standard of living. Obama's energy policy will add another level of government dependency to low-income families. In Detroit last fall, I'm sure some of you have seen this or heard about it, we witnessed the degree to which these citizens rely on the government. As we know, Detroit was particularly hit hard by the recession, by the collapse of the economy. It was estimated that 35,000 people lined up in one day to apply for government assistance to help the families with their everyday living expenses like housing and heating. The media interviewed several people. One individual said, I need help paying my mortgage and my light bill and my gas bill. Thank you, Barack Obama, I love you. Another individual expressed complete ignorance about the source of the government money. In responding to a question about where the money was coming from, she said, and I quote, I don't know, his stash. I don't know where it's coming from, but he's given it to us because he wants to help us. And that's why we love him, and that's why I voted for him. Over the course of several days in Detroit, an estimated 65,000 applications were handed out. But as few as 3,500 households were to receive any assistance. That is not hope and change. That's complete dependency on the government for survival. By being the source of Obama money, he has transformed from a politician to their savior, or should I say, their master. That is why I'm so excited to be a part of the Tea Party movement, because it's a significant social and political force that cannot be denied. Unfortunately, some politicians and the media have injected race into the Tea Party movement by labeling its members as racist, redneck, and extremists. This myth has been propagated by MSNBC and other news outlets. MSNBC host Chris Matthews claimed that everyone participating in the Tea Party movement was white. Politicians such as Charlie, I can't pay my taxes, Wrangle, said you don't see any black folk at these events. Ever, 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 ever. Janine Garofalo and her comments that Tea Party members are rednecks. As I said before, I don't know if any of you saw my speech at the 9-12 March on DC last year, but I made it a point to address that comment by saying, Janine Garofalo, my neck is not red. <laughs> Obama's policies. It has nothing to do about race. While the media is quick to propagate myths about tea parties, it fails to cover racial terms that are regularly hurled at black conservatives. I have been called a house negro, anti-Tom, a traitor, and a token simply because of my views for liberty and freedom. 
I am targeted simply for expressing my views on climate change, Obamacare, the Second Amendment, and pro-growth economics. So here we are today, my fellow patriots. Here we are. We are at a crossroads in history. Are you ready to move forward? Yes. Are you ready to move forward? We're ready. Yes. Yeah. Because it's our time to cherish the Constitution, the blueprint of our nation. It's our time to challenge the progressives with, their, with our ideas and our principles. It's our time to use your talents to rein in government gone wild. It is our time to step up like previous generations who gave their lives so that we could be free. It's our time to step up like those risking their lives today to continue to keep us free. Are you ready? Let's not let them down. Let's not let them down. God bless you and God bless America.